Hi everybody, I'm Shannon from Team Global Giving and today we are talking all things sustainable gift giving. Now, the most sustainable thing you can give is something like a global giving gift card, something that's 100% virtual, doesn't require printing out or gift wrap. But fret not, if you do have something physical to wrap, I'm going to show you three different ways to sustainably wrap it. So I have my gifts to be wrapped here and I also have three different bandanas. Um, it doesn't have to be a bandana, but you do want to have a square piece of fabric. So let's go ahead and get started. The first wrapping method I'm going to show you works kind of like a catch-all. Um, no matter the size or shape of what you are giving, it'll work in this. So I'm starting off with my scarf. I'm gonna go ahead and lay it out like a diamond. So one point at the bottom, one point at the top. I'm gonna take my two little jars here, place them right in the dead center. And then I'm gonna take my top and bottom points of my diamond, and I am going to tie them together all the way down tight as I can. Then I'm gonna take my two little bunny ears. We're just gonna tuck those guys under, because we don't wanna see those. Then with my two remaining points, right at the tippy top, I'm gonna make a double knot here. This is gonna make the handle of our bag. And there you go, that's wrapping method number one. Um, it'll really fit any size, any shape of gift that you wanna give. The next one I'm going to show you is going to be a rectangle with a little rose on top. Taking my second scarf here, I'm gonna put this in a diamond again. And then I'm gonna take my books and put those right in the middle. And then just like our previous method, we're gonna take our bottom and our top tips, and we're just gonna tie these all the way down, really tight. But this time, we're gonna leave our bunny ears to hang out a little bit. Then, I'm going to take my other two tips, and we're gonna tie these all the way down as well, nice and tight. So we have four bunny ears now, and I'm gonna take three of them in one hand, doesn't matter which one's up to you. And then with my one bunny ear that was left out, I'm gonna wrap it all the way around. You wanna make sure your pattern is facing out here so it's nice and pretty because this is gonna be the base of your rose. And then once that's wrapped around, we're just gonna tuck the tip under nice and snug so that our rose will hold. Then just continue that with your other three bunny ears. Gonna wrap that all the way around and I'm just fluffing it out a little bit make sure it looks pretty as can be no white showing gorgeous so now you have your cute little rectangle with a rose on top and then for our final method I'm just going to once again put it into a diamond shape and I'm going to take my bottom tip and fold it up but you can see here you don't want the two points to match up. You want there to be a little space in between. And then I'm going to take my rectangular package, set it in the center, fold the bottom up so that it covers the package about halfway. And then I'm gonna take your top, and you're gonna fold over and it should hang over a little bit long on your package so that you have a nice little triangle in front just like this. And we're gonna take our sides and we're going to fold them up. Make sure it's pretty snug because you don't wanna be able to see inside the gift before it's unwrapped. And then tie a double knot on top. Depending on the size of your package and of your bandana, you can go ahead and um, make the top a little bow tie. I don't have quite enough space, so I'm just gonna fluff out the top of my bow. So cute! So you have it, three different sustainable ways to give gifts this year. Hopefully this has given you lots of inspiration to be more eco-friendly when you give gifts in the future. Thanks so much for joining us.